I read uh, about your dad. How did he become your coach? Um, I think, like I said, you know, I was hitting up against the walls for so many hours, and my dad's like, well, if, you know, I can help you out. And um, he never really knew tennis. He was playing a little bit for fun, but never really, you know, anything great. And, uh, you know, he was always there at my practice sessions. You know, I had different coaches growing up, but uh, he was always there. He was learning. He was watching a lot of matches and everything. And in the end, you know, we just, we have this such a close bond. And uh, he... He kind of guided me through through it all, always wanted the best for me. And, you know, I trust him with, you know, everything. And I think that that's very important to have that connection. And there obviously have been other stories of, you know, parents coaching th their kids. But it, it does, you know, from an outsider l looking in, seems odd how somebody who, <laughs> as you said, you know, really didn't know much about tennis can coach, you know, yeah. their, their kid to becoming a you know, number one yeah. in, in the world. So how, did, did he just, I mean, he like- He learned so much growing up. And obviously we learned together as well, because obviously we, there's been some mistakes on the way, sure. you know, with some maybe technical things or whatever, but he always wanted to listen to the best coaches or the ones with more experience. And he always, uh, he was probably, you know, my biggest support out there. And he watched so many matches. He looked at techniques, he looked, you know, my dad, um, yeah, he just kind of learned along the way and, you know, uh, he wanted the best for me. So, uh, and, you know, even though sometimes maybe it wasn't the right, uh, <laughs> I remember one time my dad told me it was in one of our practice sessions and I got so upset, I said, I'm done practicing for the day and I left. What, what did he say? <laughs> He's like, you don't look at the ball when you when you do an overhead or when you serve. And I'm like, I do, you know, and I'm telling you, I'm actually looking at the ball, obviously, otherwise I couldn't hit the ball. And he's like, no, no, no. So he said, okay, have a ball in your hand. I'm going to put a ball up in the air. And if you're actually looking at the ball, the ball you have in your hand will hit the other ball, you know, so that he's feeding me a ball. Yeah. The first hit that he does, or the first shot, I hit the ball and the ball goes straight back. It hits the other ball and goes double as fast down on my nose and I started bleeding. I was like, oh my God, I'm so upset. I got so pissed with him and I left. I said, I'm done, you know, stupid exercise. Right. And did anybody come, like, was that just something he made up? or did It he was something he just made up because he's like, you know, I think she doesn't look at the ball when she does. And, <laughs> and I obviously did and uh, I made my point and I'm, I was done. <laughs> um, how about the best and worst part of having your father as your coach? Well, the best part is I, you know, I'm very close to my family. So family is so important to me and to have someone, uh, you know, travel with me all the time means so much to me. And it's an individual sport as well. So it can kind of get lonely if you just travel by yourself and, uh, right. You're just in a hotel room exactly, in random in hotel. parts of the world. Otherwise. Exactly. Yeah. So for me, uh, that's probably the best part to have family close to me all the time. And, Sometimes the worst thing is obviously I think if someone spends so much time together, sometimes we bump heads, and especially because we're both, you know, very stubborn. Right. <laughs> and even if we know we're wrong, we're gonna try and turn it to say that we're right. So uh, sometimes we have our arguments, but I think that's normal. Well, even if you guys weren't <laughs> stubborn, I mean, I love my dad. and yeah. love spending time with him, but yeah. I'd get sick of him if I, I was know. with him nine, ten months yeah. out of the year on the road. Yeah, but I guess, you know, we give each other space right. as well. My dad, I think he has, I mean, he has friends everywhere in the world. It's mm -hmm. crazy. I think he's Polish, so I think there's Polish people everywhere. And, uh, you know, I often just hear him say, yeah, do you have any plans now? I'm like, no, not really. I'm not doing it. He's like, okay, well, I'm going, you know, I'm going to a barbecue with my friends here. I'm going there. I'm like, where do you know all these right. people from? And he's like, I don't know. You know, it just kind of happens.